Swear to God, I didn't plan this. She came over here and sat here. <laughs> oh, crazy. Hey guys, it's Doc, and yes, today we're gonna talk about real mowers. And here's what I'm gonna do for you, and this will save you some time. I'm gonna run through the main decision points I think you should have on a real mower, and then I'm gonna tell you which is the best mower, I believe, exactly the size, the model, brand, make, everything. So hold on. Well, my model's gone. Linda's still here. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Linda's sitting in the sunshine. Uh, first of all, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> because we've got over 30 vid videos set up in queue that we're currently working on and shooting on. All kinds of yard stuff. We're gonna be doing vegetable garden stuff. We're gonna be doing some home repair stuff. We've got all kinds of stuff that we're working on. Uh, we'll be showing you some of the new products like Humachar, which hopefully will be back in stock um, maybe in about two weeks. So just go ahead and click subscribe. Also, don't forget, um, if you're kind of stuck on where you are with your lawn, the Bermuda Lawn Guide is out. And there's a subject by subject link in there. And you just click on the green subject and it expands out. And you can read that one subject. It's a real easy way to read it. That's my favorite way. When I go to it, that's the way I read it. Okay, so I told you guys this year that I was gonna order a new McLean reel mower, and I did, and I returned it. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you about that. But first, I wanna start off by saying, what are the rules that I use when judging a reel mower? Number one, last year, some of you know that I switched over just to going to the McLean, and I'm gonna tell you why. So rule number one, the main priority, I think, on rule number one is the fact that when you have a real mower, the blades need to be able to be turning without the drive mechanism engaged. Does that make sense? So these all have power drive wheels, but the problem with most real mowers that are out there is when you engage some sort of clutch system or lever system, that the reel and the wheels are always turning. There's no way to have an option of just one or either or both. Does that make sense? So let me show you on the McLean. So number one, on the McLean mower, it's a real easy push. This is the largest mower that they make. This is a 25 inch and it really is. It's just, it's lightweight and it's so easy to move around. But I can engage this right here. There's one belt that engages and that belt engages the reels and the drive wheel. So my drive wheel is now spinning. However, I can lower or raise that drive wheel to touch the ground or not to touch the ground. And let me tell you why that's so important. If I wanna get around flower beds and walkways or I have some curves, what I do is, is before I get to that, while I'm mowing, it's driving itself and the wheel is down and it's turning. What I do is I just disengage that wheel the blades are still spinning, and all I do is I just go up and I slowly walk around and I can take my time and I can follow that angle cut. Also, like on my bushes back here, on my bushes back there, I'll disengage the actual drive wheel, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of just feather it in and out of where I want to go. And you can't do that with most real mowers. Most real mowers, once you engage something, it's off to the races. And that's a horrible feeling for me. I did not want to do that. So that's rule number one. Now, all these mowers basically do that. The true cut does it with a, with a, with a thumb drive system. So the true cut has a clutch system. You have, you can you control and you feather the, the, um, the reel cutting and the drive with a clutch system. What ends up happening for me and a lot of people is by the time you get halfway through your lawn, because you're having to sort of feather that drive system on and off, man, my thumb is killing me. My thumb right in here, I feel like I have tendonitis. Um, so for me, that's why the McLean is a much easier cut, because it's just a handle and you just walk around. And it's just such a nice, much more nice way to cut. Secondly, let's go to the next rule. Let's talk about size. This is a 20 inch, and I'll tell you right now that I think most people that buy the 20 end up wishing they had bought the 25. 
All right, so now you can see them, and this is a 20 inch right here. So this is a 20 inch True Cut. That's a 25 inch McLean and a 27 inch True Cut. The 20, the 25 is the sweet spot, I think. The 20, I think for most people is too small. That's what I felt like when I was on my yard. I felt like the 20 was too small. Secondly, I think especially the bumpier the lawn you have, I think the wider you should go. The 27, the problem with the 27 inch unit is it's so big and so heavy. I swear, it's almost, it feels like it's twice the weight of this 25 inch McLean. And you can't free cut with it. If you're any way uphill, you can't, you can't move that thing. So great product, great cutter, but this is the number one choice by far. So here's what I did. Last year, um, I had a link on the website. Now in the description below, I always link to our website and there'll be a page, a specific page. And this video will be on that page. And then I'll have information below that about this. And I'm gonna put a link I asked uh, this distributor down here, who I've worked with now for two years, is phenomenal, but it was confusing on how to buy. And I said, dude, I said, um, can you make just one page? I'm gonna be recommending that unit, a 25 inch with the grooved roller, comes with everything. That's the unit I'm gonna be recommending. Can you just make a page with just that on it? <laughs> so that people can go there and click a buy now button and buy it because it was really kind of confusing their website. So as of this year, you can go on our website, click on the, in the description below, that'll take you to this page. It'll take you and I'll have a link to the distributor direct page that they created just for you guys. So it's, it's just, you go right on there and that's the model you're gonna get. You're gonna get the front groove roller. It does come with the front grass catcher, by the way. It comes with a front grass catcher, comes with everything you see there. The price on that unit with the grooved roller, everything set up with the big Honda engine. By the way, they offer another, um, they offer a Briggs and Stratton, go with the Honda engine. The Honda engine is the best one that I've used. You'll notice that all these have the Hondas. And I think they're all GX160s, by the way. So that the unit that you're buying will be the Honda unit and it will have the front roller on it. Um, it's about 17 something plus shipping. So it's like 1790 plus shipping. I think it comes out, they include the shipping. So it's like, it's about two grand including shipping. Now when it ships, it's gonna come on a small freight truck. It's gonna come on a small 18 wheeler. It comes with a lift gate and they'll have a pallet jack and they'll roll it up to your driveway. So when it ships, uh, they'll give you a phone call or you can contact them. Uh, the shipping company and make arrangements for a delivery time because you do need to be home. It's a small pallet box and then you just have to do simple assembly on it. It's very easy to assemble. Basically it's just putting the handles on the thing pretty much. Now one thing I wanted to talk about and I actually um, after I got this unit I actually got on the phone with the owner of McLean and we talked about some of the things on this. And I told them that the way that they were shipping it, it basically, this unit, this unit will cut approximately half inch to about an inch, maybe inch and a quarter. If you wanna go any higher than that, you need to make an adjustment on the bars and that's in the manual and that'll take you up to about an inch and a half. So remember, if you're gonna start reel cutting, it's for people that wanna cut at about three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch or inch and a half at the most. That's what these reel mowers are designed to do. So next, let me show you the model. Now they have a greenskeeper model. Now McLean makes a greenskeeper model. And I went ahead and ordered it. Now I pay for these, <laughs> I ordered it. And uh, he sent it up to me and I, uh, I spent the day working with it and I told, I called him back and then I actually got on the phone with the factory and I said, what am I missing here? Because the greenskeeper model is just that it's for putting greens. <laughs> It'll cut one sixteenth of an inch up to maybe I would say just over half an inch and that's it. <laughs> that's it. So it's a 10 blade that, uh, the greenskeeper is a 10 blade and it has the dual screws on the side. It looks very similar to this. And I gotta tell you, I said, man, I, 
I'm just never going to be able to use this. It's just not the right mower for me and it's not the right mower for the average homeowner. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you these two mowers side by side so you can get a feel for them. <laughs> they almost look identical. Um, there's not a lot of difference to them. They're both the larger Hondas. And this one is the Greenskeeper model and this is the GR series, I think is how they do it. So the Greenskeeper, this is a 10 blade versus a 7 blade. This one has an adjustment system fine tune adjustment here and then an adjustment system on the nuts over here to raise and lower the roller this one has a lever latch system <laughs> this one over here you basically only want to buy this if you have a putting green for a lawn that's what it comes down to um, i actually got this model in and there's no way to adjust this thing higher than <laughs> maybe half an inch uh, which isn't is not and I repeat this is not the model for the average homeowner to buy even if you like your Bermuda short This one I can adjust down to eh, About a half an inch and then easily come up to an inch or inch and a quarter somewhere in there with a the standard adjustment So this is the model that I am recommending and you'll see it in the description below There'll be a link to it. I'm actually sending that unit back and I'm replacing it with this unit. So uh, I contacted him back and said, look, <laughs> will you swap me out? He said, yeah, no problem. So that's why I have two of those because I need a backup unit. We're gonna be doing a bunch of reel cutting this year. So that's why I have two of the same units. I have two of the same 25 inch McLean's. It's the GR series. It's the one in the description. Make sure you do that. It's one in the description, has the front roller. It comes with a grass catcher, the plastic grass catcher, the front catcher, it comes with everything. Um, that's just, uh, so I was going to do a review on that one on the greenskeeper model. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I just don't think for the average person, unless you have a putting green lawn, like you live in Hawaii, a lot of people in Hawaii or some people maybe in California or wherever, you know, they have quarter inch Bermuda or something. That's fine. The average homeowner and even elevated homeowner will not have that and do not buy that unit. This is the unit you want to buy. Again, one of the things I love about this unit is the fact that it really is a one hand push. Now you just go ahead and start it up, start it up and you pull the engage and it's a nice slow pace. That's the other thing. This isn't a real fast pace. It's a nice slow walking pace to cut your yard. But if you want to move it, I mean, it's just, I mean, you can basically just move it with one hand. I mean, it's just a real easy mower to push around. So that's why um, I could never do that I could never do that with this. Oh, also one point I forgot to do, I forgot to tell you was that um, the reason <laughs> TrueCut has a clutch system. So it has a squeeze clutch system and it has clutch plates and it has, I think it's like seven different grease points, grease zerks that you have to, you know, consistently go in there with a grease gun and they're hard to get. And I'm just the type of person, man, like every, every time I cut or every other time I cut, I felt like I had to go in and make sure it was all greased because then there's like seven of those little zerks or ports that you got to grease. Um, there are none on the McLean, by the way. So the reel is actually an enclosed ball bearing system and there's nothing to grease. I went all last year and did no maintenance on this McLean whatsoever. I did zero maintenance on the McLean. On the true cut, almost every time I was cutting, <laughs> I was having to go in there and just check everything, make sure it was all grease. So a lot less maintenance on it too. Plus, um, the 20 inch that I've had for a while now, the 20 inch, the actual clutch plate, you have to go in and adjust the clutch plate on it. I feel like the clutch, it, when I go uphill, it's like it's not wanting to have enough power. Um, so now you got to go in and you got to adjust the clutch plate on this one on the McLean's you don't do that It's just one belt. There's just one single belt on it, and I'll show you that here in a minute so all I have to do is basically There's a red switch turn the switch to on Put on your choke if it's cold if it's not cold don't put it on give it a little pull
drive wheel is up, and I'm going to engage the handle, and you can see what happens with the blade. But one thing I want you to see is that the rear wheel is also moving. move the mower until I pull. So until I drop that wheel down, it's not going to move it. So now it's going to move it. So now let me just go over a few of the little features with you real quick. All right, so one of the nice things is that it comes with this groove roller system. So here's the groove roller system. It comes with that. If you get it, if you follow the link on the website, it'll take you directly to this unit. Next, nice wonderful steel blade seven blade system and then these little vents right here can you see them can you see those little vents right there <laughs> i don't think you can okay it has these little vents and these little vents normally because of the way that the blades are coming all the grass clippings want to come out this side and these vents sort of counteract that and they throw them back this way to adjust your height um, when you go to adjust your height, it's just a simple little lift this up and then decide what height you want right here. And that moves your roller bar, determines your height. Um, when you first get it, by the way, when you first get it, let me go the other side. Well, let me turn this so you can see this better. Get it all in the sunshine. Okay, so when you first get this unit, this bar right here is going to be mounted in here and this right here is going to be mounted right here and if you want to cut low drop this down to here and drop the bar that's here into here I just want to let you know that that's the first thing I do because I want to cut lower if you don't you can see you can actually look at the bed knife you can play with these settings and see how high the bed knife is and it'll tell you but if you want to cut low you need to drop those two down to here otherwise just leave it alone Again, a real nice Honda GX160, never fail. <laughs> First stop pull. Here is your, so this is your drive wheel lever right here. So all it is, drop, drop the drive wheel, lift the drive wheel. Drop the drive wheel, lift the drive wheel. This is your belt engager. And let me show you how that works. So and basically, instead of having a clutch system worry about, <laughs> all you have to do is just you have one belt. And when you pull that handle, it lets the belt engage. When you let go, the belt disengages. That's it. If you want to tell them, um, you can order some extra belts. I always have some extra. Have not had one fail yet. So, okay. You see right here, that is a fully enclosed ball bearing system for the real for the blades for the real turn compared to compared to um compared to the true cut which you're going to have grease zerks see that little yellow knob down there see that thing right there you've got that one you got two over there you got several of them all around you got one sitting here this is your clutch assembly right here so you have a clutch system here for your reel and a clutch system here for your drive now like i said this is a heavy heavy mower the double wheels on it um, kind of crushed down taller grass so and i think that's i had someone that was telling me that they didn't like this because it was so heavy that the reel system was crushing it down uh, the McLean system is not again this unit feels like it's half the weight I probably should look up and put up the specs if I find them maybe I'll put them up but these little wheels right here are super super smooth man they just glide so again um, I've done a bunch of reviews everything from small 18 inch hand push reel mowers up to the 20 inch McLean uh, true cut the 25 inch true cut um, I never got one of the smaller McLeans because I'm just telling you every single person that I talked to that has gotten a smaller reel mower has wished that they below like a 20 or below has wished that they had gone to a tw 25 now I have 
18,000 square feet to cut and it cuts wonderfully. It's just, it's just wonderful. The difference in cutting between the 27 and the 25, that two inches, it, it really isn't that big of a difference. But the way that they cut and the use of them is a big difference. So that's my number one choice for real mowers. Click that subscribe and uh, just go to the website and you'll see a link to it down below. Dot. Thank you.